Is this thing on? Yeah? We started? Excellent. Welcome to Gaz TV. Episode, uh, probably about five or six by now. We're um, on about day 15, I think? 14, 15? No, can't be that much. Probably about day eight-ish. So, it's Friday today. Day off lessons. Uh, so, to the, last night was a, a little bit of a messy one. Uh, yeah, everyone out getting pissed. It's all good. Um, yeah, uh, the uh, the lovely uh, girl from uh, Nova Scotia stood me up. I was quite disappointed, but you know, you win some, you lose some. I pulled out all the stops. I had uh, flowers and everything, and uh, yeah, went over to the GLC and asked, and uh, she wasn't working. A uh, bit of a miscommunication, maybe. I don't know. Maybe she just didn't like me. Oh well. Plenty more fish in the sea, yeah? Alright, well, I'm sitting on the balcony, having some breakfast. Bit of cranberry juice, sort out the vitamin C, yeah? Keep it healthy, keep it clean. After a big night out, this is the uh, view. As you can see, it's absolutely stunning. Bit covered in snow, the balcony at the moment, so, um, yeah. We're a little bit disappointed that there's uh, no hot tub out here. There's plenty of room for one, I would have thought. So, there it is there. The pad. The gas pad. <laughs> I'm sure Ben and Chris will be uh, a little bit annoyed with me if I uh, call it that too much. So, keep that one on the down low. Down here, uh, that's actually the roof of uh, the second level, which is um, the owner's house. They live on the, the bottom two floors. And uh, we're, uh, we've got the mezzanine, kitchen, etc. up the top, which is pretty sweet, actually. I love it. We had a bit... If, it, if I can get the words out right, it might help. On TV and everything. Uh, we had, like, eight people stay in our house, including us three last night. So, uh, yeah, we did pretty well. I think at some point today I will get out on the slopes, hopefully to demo some more skis. Uh, well, I really need to do, actually do some stuff today. Guys from Metaflow, if you're watching, I am trying to get the net. It should hopefully be delivered. So, but by the time you're watching this, it'll have been sorted anyway. So yeah. I know you're gonna take the piss, but who cares? Uh, yeah. Might go for a swim later, do some work, check out Facebook and stuff, if we get the internet sorted. But I need to have a word with the landlady about that stuff, kind of stuff. It's stunning out here, absolutely amazing. This is Black Hume Mountain up here. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. So you can see the uh, crisscrossing of a tree, of the uh, piece through the trees. Whistler Mountains out through there. Out through the middle. Yeah. Not sure what we're up to tonight. Probably back on the lash, I would have thought. The other night, uh, Tuesday, I think, we uh, went out for dinner, um, the usual non stop thing. Like, we've got this pretty crazy schedule. We kind of get off the mountain around half past three and then we got dinner at five. So, uh, and it takes a good, probably hour and a half round trip to get from town and back back again. So um, we tend to just stay there, stick around the GLC, bit of outpre ski, show the uh, Canadians how to do it. They don't, they don't really know how to do outpre ski properly, but we're, uh, we're teaching them. So um, yeah, we'll stick around there. Head down to dinner, ski boots still on of course. Uh, yesterday was probably pretty much the first day that I've managed to uh, get back home, take my ski boots off, get my trainers on and sprint back to town so that I uh, wasn't walking around in ski boots all night. But uh, yeah, where was I? I digress. Uh, Tuesday, sp Old Spaghetti Factory, um, have dinner, come out of there probably about five-ish because we had it a bit early that, that time. Um, no, it's probably probably more like six-ish, something like that, but 
Rob, Alison, and Joss t uh, decide to say uh, rather dangerously, "Oh, do you want to? Do you just want to come in here for uh, for one drink in the uh, Crystal Lounge?" Of course, one drink turns into about eight or nine. Not for me. I I, I was taking it easy. I was at about five watching the hockey at the time. So uh, yeah, but. The other guys were uh, having whiskey chasers. They're on the vino. There was all sorts of hilarious stories coming out. Quite, they, those guys are quite frank, and they uh, they show the the younguns how to do it. Really, all the younguns tucked up in bed. The oldies out. I say oldies. That's that's a really offensive term, and I apologise. Uh, so uh, the, the the slightly more experienced members of the course um, were, were showing us all uh, how to do it. Really, so that was quite funny. And that's generally what tends to happen at the moment, so uh, yeah, I, I, I'll try and get some work done most of the time, but the the, uh, the midweek schedule is pretty crazy. And by the time I got back, it was probably about half twelve and I was still in my ski boots, which uh, wasn't particularly pleasant. Yeah, uh, you, you kind of get them off and shove them as far away as, you, as far away from you as possible before you pass out that kind of smell. Nasty! So uh, yeah. I think you're probably bored by now, bored of my rambling, so uh, I'll leave you with some nice view. This is Gaz. You've been watching Gaz TV. Take it easy. Oh, 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 what's occurred in? Sorry, I forgot one thing. Um, oh, sorry, by the way, that's uh, Mr. John Morgan's uh, catchphrase. What's occurred in? wasn't quite entirely sure what he was on about at first, but yeah. Um, yeah, last night, everyone, for some reason, thought that uh, I dyed my hair. I don't think they'd ever seen me without a hat on, apart from the people on the plane. But uh, pretty much everyone in the course unanimous, unanimously thought that uh, I had blonde hair. Go figure. Oh well. Anyway, see you later.